hello guys welcome to the code Wigners. in this video I'm going to show you how can you connect your list box with your database and how can you display your values in your list box from your database and uh, one more thing that I'm gonna tell you in this video that if you select a value here in the list box then how can you make the correspondent values of that one appear in all the respective fields so that's these are the things that we are going to learn in today's video so let's get started and uh, first of all you need to uh, drop and drag a list box here uh, if you have uh, no idea about list box then I would recommend you to watch my previous video so let's go to our code and let's see what we have on our output so first I need to I just need to check if I have in my list box I need to remove that because I am going to do something different so that was my previous you know work so I will go up and uh, if you are following my previous videos then you must know about this combo function that I have created in my ninth video I think and uh, just I need to copy paste the code that I have written inside the combo and uh, I have to copy this code till this catch block and I just press ctrl C and what I need to do I need to create a new function of the void tab void type and uh, if you are familiar with the function then you must know that what void function is for and uh, the void function does not return any value it just you know arbitrarily you can call it anywhere you want and uh, inside this list function I am going to copy paste the code the code from this combo box from this combo function okay so if you have you are not familiar with that combo function and that code then I will recommend you to watch my previous videos and I have uploaded all the videos in a series so you it will be easier for you to understand if you will watch my previous video okay so now after copy pasting that the same code for the combo I just need to do uh, little changes uh, I will write here like list box one list box one that is basically my list box name and uh, let's go to the design and just select this and there you can see that the name of the list box is list box one so I have written here as list box one and nothing there is no need to change the rest of the code so what it will do e underscore name is basically this one this e underscore name what it will do it will take that string e name from my database and it will stro store that string to my this string variable and that is s and after that it is what it is gonna do it is just gonna add this string to this list box one by one and what this while loop is doing that this read function is making sure that this mysql data reader r you know have something in it it will check it will read one value only once okay so when it will read one value it the while loop will work for once when it will go to the another another value it will run as twice and same like this it will run until and unless all the values are finished it will read all the values and when it will reach null this while loop will be terminated so this e name value will be stored in this string s and you can see that i have called this string s variable right here so what it is doing it is 
adding that s variable one by one to this list box okay so we are pretty much done here if we run our program and uh, it will take a bit longer to run because uh, the, this is the first time i'm running this program after opening visual studio so it will take a bit longer and when it will run i will put my credentials and i will log in it will tell me that login correct your login successful so there you can see uh, nothing appears here because uh, there is a mistake that i am doing so i will stop debugging uh, i have not called this function in my main block so main function so i will just copy paste that and i will call it here right after the you know in my main block right after after initialize component and uh, you can see that in if wherever you find this initialize component function it will be your main block in c so find after you know adding this here i will run my program it will work now because that function was doing nothing outside the main block so everything uh, you want to you know execute you should write that thing in the main block so when i log in it is telling me that login successful and there you can see that the database values have been shown to my list so now what i want if i select one of the value then all the things all the correspondent values should appear here like i did in my combo box if i you know select this james you can see all the values are appearing here the thing that i have done in my previous videos okay in the 10th video i guess so you can go and watch that video if you are not familiar with that so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select one of this value and i want that value to appear right here okay so right now you can see it is not appearing here because it was my combo box value yes combo box value changing but if i click on that it is not changing so i want to do that for that purpose what i will do uh, i will just go to my design form and uh, because in the combo box i have done the same work so i will copy paste the code to save time and uh, i would recommend you to watch my previous video if you have not watched it yet so the concepts will be more clearer than before so you can go and watch my previous video so i will copy paste that until this catch block and when i will copy paste what i will do i'll go to the design and uh, double click on my list box and i will go to i will reach to this event of this list box so inside this list box i will just copy paste the code that i have copied from my combo box so i will again recommend you if you are not familiar with that please go and please watch my previous videos so uh, don't confuse yourself with it uh, you will get a better concept by watching my previous videos okay so what i need to do here i will just change the combo box one in my query and inside in spite of uh, combo box one i will write my list box name and that is basically uh, you can see here list box one so i will just copy paste that and i will go to my code and in here i will just paste that list box one dot text so you can see uh, the error has gone here that was appearing so we are done here there is nothing that i need to change now so what i will do i will just run my program and uh, i'll put my credentials here like I have given in my database so login successful so you can see the values are appearing here so if I select any value uh, the val uh, all the correspondent values should appear here so if I select Andrew you can see all the values are appearing here the correspondent values for Andrew so I'll come here to my database and let's you know match these values here so if i select john 
this this john john and password one two three and uh, id one should appear in this uh, field so if i select john you can see eid is one e name john username john and the password is one two three if i select you know this mark this mark and the username mark and password mar and the id is five it should appear here so if i select mark you can see the id is five name is mark username is mark and password is mar so hope you enjoyed the video so please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now